here I am at the base of an old tree, in that little park, and looks to be about four or five inches down in amongst the roots. And I've just got a uh, really nice kangaroo penny, 1952. Okay, I'm just working down this uh, section of the park, out of the playground. And I've already got one penny, which was a 1962. And great signal coming out of this hole. And didn't need the pro pointer. And there she is sitting right there. And it's a 1944. 1944 kangaroo penny. Excellent. This is the zone. Keep going. Got a good signal. Oh, I'd already got it out. I'd scooped it out with that handful before. And there it is right there. And okay, looks like a George VI. I'll wait till I get that home to clean him up. Beauty! Okay. Looking back the other way, that's where I got the uh, first penny and the second penny. And now, about that far down, I've got a beautiful emblem badge of some sort. It's a cricket, it's a cricket um, badge. And I can see the bat, I can see the balls, I can see the three stumps. And what a beaut find this is. A little bit of a nick there, but that's going to clean up beautifully. I'm wrapped. What a beauty. That's where I got the cricket uh, emblem from, the badge from, and not very far away. It's got a great signal, and I'm just about to investigate. It's out of the hole, it's in the uh, side here, so. That's very close to it. There it is. Haha. <laughs> there it is. And let's have a look and see what this is. Okay, it's a 1943 kangaroo half penny. Beauty. Right in the zone. Keep going. I reckon there's more here. That's where I got the brass padlock from, and about three feet away. Didn't do a live dig. Once bitten, twice shy, thought. And dug a beautiful plug, and just cleared the dirt away. And an awesome, awesome looking 1943 penny. It's in excellent condition. And yes, I have collected it a little bit in my enthusiasm. Well, it looks like I may have a bit of reprieve from the uh, little nick I gave that last coin because I've just checked the hole and there's something else down there. It's very close. Hang on, there it is. Just see the edge of it right there. Got it. And it's another penny. Hey, I got a coin spill. Two pennies in the one hole. Beauty. And I'll see if I can get a date on this for you. And would you believe that? My phone alarm's going. <laughs> Apparently that happens every two pennies in the same hole. Stand by, I'll turn that annoying thing off. Okay, she's a bit corroded on the uh, date side, so I might wait till I uh, uh, get her home and clean her up and put the date up then. But uh, how about that? Two pennies, one hole. Fantastic. Love this spot.
and I thought I hadn't got the target out. So I kept digging, and then I thought, well, I'll check the hole, and I'll check what's out, and look what popped up. Another coin, and it's a half penny. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. That was the impression. Now, where's the coin? There's the coin. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I thought that was the coin, but it was actually the impression of the coin. That's the coin. And it's a beautiful half penny. And I'll just have a quick look at the date. The kangaroo half penny. Quick look at the date. Quite clean. Okay, I think it's a 1963. Half penny came from there. Metre and a half away. A nice buckle. Beauty. Well, that was a great signal, and I just took the plug and lifted the plug out. And as you can see, the plug was sitting on top of that root, and on top of that root was a penny. Beauty. That's a 1951 kangaroo penny. Yay! What a day! Well, it was an iffy signal, but I decided to dig it anyhow. And, well, uh, this is my first half a penny. But it's half a big penny. And, luckily enough, I've got the date. It's 1955. So is that worth a halfpenny? Okay. I'm on the way home, back to the car, and that's a fairly decent sized hole there, and the signal was great, as all the other signals are around here, and another penny. Oh, that's an Elizabeth. Haven't seen you all day. How about that? Oh. Hang on a minute. What is this? Oh no! <laughs> oh, look what I've got, guys. <laughs> First one in such a long time. Oh, and I dug that plug extra wide too. Awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing a silver dance on the inside, guys. It's a florin. And uh, just uh, let me um, do a very quick uh, bush wash, uh, gentle wash, and uh, see if I can get a date. Whoa. <laughs> a beautiful florin. It's a beautiful 1958 florin. Just over there was the florin, and come back uh, six feet. Very careful check of the area. And I've just pulled out the plug, and sitting in the bottom of the plug is another silver. And it's a beautiful sixpence. Right there. Okay, Let's see if I can get a date. It's a beautiful 1957 sixpence in excellent condition. What a beauty. So I'm in the silver zone now. I didn't even have to get the pro pointer out. Great signal. Scooped out the plug. And we well, have a look at this. It's a round ball of some sort, and I'm thinking it's steel. But, uh, What a beauty. Heavy as. Great signal. We'll clean that up and find out if we can ID it when we get home. What a beauty. Quite a deep target. Strong target. And a beautiful 1960 kangaroo half penny. Beautiful.
Okay, definitely the last coin for the day. Quite a deep hole, great signal, and out of there came a beautiful 1952 penny, little kangaroo penny. Yay, what a great day. I was so confident this was a penny, it was a solid 42, and it wasn't a penny. <laughs> it's a uh, brass tap valve kind of thing. <laughs> what a beauty. <laughs> oh well, you never can tell. What a great place. Relics, coins. The only thing that's missing is a McDonald's. Okay, guys. See ya.